Some of you might be wondering how to install apps on your Seatbox using your client area. Well, we've made this pretty easy for you through your client area by going over to the left hand side, going to one click apps, selecting your Seatbox from the drop down menu. Here is the default screen. As you can see, this is a, a list of your installed apps. You might even see some updates here, which we've gone over in some other videos. If you want to install an app and kind of browse our list of one-click installers, our extensive library of installable apps is right here through the All section up at the top. Bang. If you click that, you can browse through. Up top is System Maintenance. As a reminder, this will update the OS firmware on your seed box, which is always a good idea to do at least once a week. Uh, after you've done that, you can find whatever app that you want to install, do whatever you want to do. Click the gear to install apps. This will run for a little while, and eventually this area will refresh, and up here it'll say installation complete. You'll be able to find inside of one of these your credentials to log into whatever service it is you just installed. Now for advanced users, For advanced users, we can head over to a terminal. This can be found if you don't have a console installed necessarily on your local computer. We do provide a way for you to access a console, which is pretty freaking cool in my opinion, through your dashboard on your client area. Uh, and once you open that up, you'll actually see on the left-hand side a list of services that you can access through quick links inside of your dashboard. And web console is one of those. Once you click that, you come inside of here. sudo install app is the command. Now sometimes this can take a little bit of long, like take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Just wait around. This actually is a pretty quick process if you've kept your seed box up to date and are not experiencing other issues as well. Here we go. Once inside, <clears throat> now this is also very clickable. You can uninstall, enable debugging, debugging, uh, disable distribution upgrade. But let's go to install application and take a look around there because this is necessarily where you're going to spend most of your time. You can click around different torrent clients, much like you see with the drop down menu of all on the one click installers page from your client area. Once you do that, you can find whatever app you want to click, find one, click install. This will run in the background, and of course, it'll update when you're done, and it'll provide a URL down here in the bottom left hand corner. If you have any questions or need some extra support, open up a chat window below. As always, if you like these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by.